Hello. How you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Or evening. Or morning. It's about noon here in the desert. I like that where you got the sun. How you doing? Yeah, my production value is amazing, isn't it? I'm probably going to have to get a tripod eventually. I'll make this brief. Marijuana is the truth. I've taken pain pills for seven years. Um, prescription medication for my doctor. And I was getting tested for my kidneys twice a year to make sure they, wouldn't, they weren't being destroyed. Which they probably did a lot of damage to at this point. But the last straw was when they handed me a piss cup. And when I was doing my blood test work. And I told them I never had to do this before. And she's like, we want to make sure you're taking the medication. So either I'm selling it or I'm a criminal or what. I just, at that point, I was done. I was like, I'm good. That'll be the last time we test. And I told my doctor to shove it. And I had a buddy that was working in the medical marijuana industry. And he was working for co-op. And he was it was the truth. And he was like, he gave me the money. His name is Nicholas. Really good buddy. And he gave me the money. He's like, dude, I'm so sure you're gonna, it's going to change your life. And it did. I, as far as, as an artist, if you're an artist and you're listening to this, it's a tap. I can turn it on and off at will. There's no blockage. There's no wall. It was destroyed the day I started using medical marijuana. That fucking wall that keeps you, that blocks your thought, that blocks your creativity, gone. I know, because from 40, and from 16 when I started smoking weed when I was a kid till 40 years old it never affected me that way because I never really did a lot but the fact is when I hit 40 and I committed to it as a medication instead of pills it literally changed everything I didn't have any blockage on my art I mean come on now look at that that's just what I brought with me I have a storage unit I'm losing full of my art if you want to buy some art cheap um, where is it it's at Rogue Valley um, U-Haul. And it's in number three. And it's on 99. And it's a locker full of my art. At least 500 paintings. And you can get at least 20,000 if you sell them. I'm just saying. I'm losing it because I don't have the money to keep I've been trying to keep it up for two years. And I finally ran out of money. So, anyways, that's not even here to there. I'll tell you what. You know what? Bear one is the truth. I'll paint another damn 500 paintings. And that would be fucking amazing. Because I'm only getting better. So like I said, it's a tap. There is no wall for me, artistically. And as far as medically feeling good, there's a show in the 70s called Barney Miller. It's a funny show. And it's about a bunch of cops in this little precinct. And there's a guy named Fish, older dude. Old. Anyway, somebody brought in some brownies and they all ate them. So Fish and this other and another cop went out on a call and they get a perp and they bring him back. And this guy's complaining about Fish jumping across a 12 foot span on a roof. And here's Fish, this old 80 something guy, 80 year old guy. And he's like, the best I've felt in years. And it's illegal. And I'm telling you, man, as many injuries as I have, I feel great. I mean, the downside is that it will, um, it makes you feel very happy, especially sativa for me. It works really good that way. It puts me in a really good mood. And so when I don't have it, life kind of sucks a little bit. It's, it's not as bad as like if you're taking psych medication and you run out. I've had a friend do a meltdown for three days and just inconsolable in tears. Just just a, a blob of goo because he ran out of prescription. That doesn't happen with weed. <laughs> with weed, you might get a little cranky, but you're not going to, yeah. Although there's moderation with everything. You don't have to be a fucking Rastafarian either. A little bit goes a long way. Just throwing that out there. And I don't drive while I'm medicated, period, in a story. That's just, that's not even an issue. And I don't care how good you are at it. It's just, it's just not cool. It's just something you don't do. Anyway, so it's the truth. Believe me, I've been through it, and I'm telling you. So, and God made it. I bet Jesus even smoked weed. Oh, yeah, that's controversial. I don't care. God loves me. So does the universe. So, oh, by the way, I love you. So does God. And so does the universe. So I want you to have a wonderful day. 
And think about medical marijuana, especially if you're already taking some other crap drugs. Can't hurt. Go talk to a butt tender. They're pretty knowledgeable. You'd be surprised. Anyway.